Okay, so I'm back in the tunnel. I've added some actions and behaviors to the to the uh, zombie character. He's finally chasing me, guys. Like I said, I'm not used to copper cube. I'm not into copper cube that much. I'm also learning. Okay, so I figured out the ways for the zombie to chase me, and it takes some. It takes him some time to catch up with me. But I don't think that is irrelevant at the moment. That's relevant at the moment. Uh, the purpose of this walkthrough is to make this zombie catch me. Okay, and I want him when he comes into proximity with the cube. I want him to disappear, to vanish. Okay, and reappear on top of the cube in front of you, starting to hit you and kicking you and all of that awesome stuff. Okay, so I'm here in the tunnel. As you can see, I've copied two more paths from path one. There's a path two and a path three. Uh, path one is obviously the player. Path two is for the zombie chasing you. And part three, the path three is the cube you are standing on. It's a replica of the path one that you are also connected to so that both of you can sync, move in sync. Okay, so there's the cube. He's moving on his own. I need to stop him and I'm going to put him on zero position and rotation. Okay, because I need to add a collider, a approximately collider to box collider to this cube in order for me to use the cube with behaviors and actions okay so i'm gonna just bring him back to zero what's going on now why is it not working rotation zero zero why is it not working what is going on let me go back to the cube and see what's going on by the path cube path stopped okay let's take that off i think that is the reason why let's go back there you go there's the cube guys as you can see it's uh, it's hovering under the player the camera that is why it looks like um, you are standing on top of it so i'm just adding a on proximity do something and i'm changing the spear to box the box works much better i'm gonna scale him to a relative size because nothing on the side of this cube is going to interact with the cube just at the back and maybe in front okay so on entry i need to set up on entry let's just hold on okay that's the cube you're standing on it's not much but i'm gonna swap it out with a model like a train model or something 3d model i'm gonna create in sketchup so when entering this radius let's choose the c note it's going to be the q okay and enter enter radius near to what near to q2 most and near to switch c note that is zombie one the heck is going on here yeah. current camera you see why is it not selecting it's not selecting a c note copper cube is acting very strangely today its behaviors and actions is out of order what the bloody hell is going on here I'm just gonna leave it so I'm gonna figure out what's going on there. Okay, let me just choose the cube. Cube 2, cube mesh 2. Okay, let's go with the. Why doesn't it wanna choose the node, only the current camera? Anyway, still not working. Mm. 
hide or I see no trigger visibility. Zombie. Let's play and see what's going on. Okay, we are moving. The zombie is nowhere to be found, nowhere to be seen. Let's wait for him. Maybe he's still coming. There you go. He just merged from the ground. I don't know if this is a ghost zombie or what, but he just merged from the ground. I think you guys saw that. Anyway. As you can see, he's coming closer and closer to me. He's gaining momentum as he's running. And there is, he caught up with me. Okay, now that is where he's supposed to hide. And appear on top of the, the cube. Okay. What am I missing here? Okay, I'm gonna put the camera current cam action camera and see what happens but it's not choosing choose current active camera let's play and see if that is right let's take the zombie what do you guys think I'm gonna change the speed to to one because I want to sp speed up the process I want him to hide there is coming now now he's he did appear properly now from the dark and that is what I want I'm going to finish up with this um, project if you are still watching this video please smack that like button if it's like if it's helpful uh, subscribe to my channel if it's your first time here and um, I hope to see you in the next tutorial where I kill the zombie I'm gonna shoot the zombie I'm gonna add a gun to my character and I'm gonna start shooting zombies and adding points and in, in the health and all of that okay for the tunnel and the track and the path, everything is sorted. I'm happy with that. So I just need to create some creatures, animate them, and import them to Copper Cube to this exact project so that we can start creating the game. Okay. So yeah, I'm gonna finish up with this project and I hope to see you in the next video, guys.